Um, What's up? Can we just say how gorgeous the two of them look, oh. actually? Okay, we, I know we're having like a little Joburg Cape Town <laughs> off here, all right? You guys might be winning. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank God I, I got a Carissa, okay, in my corner. We're going to be okay. Um, but Bringing I, up I, the group average. Um, <laughs> thankfully, raising the average, as we always say. But um, I love the focus and the, the zone that we're in right now because I've gotten to work within the pageantry space yes. with Miss SA. It is a platform for empowerment and growth. That's mm -hmm. it. It's not a beauty pageant. I'm sorry. It falls horribly short when you yeah. try and describe a machine like that. Yeah. And of course, it reflects the bigger picture, but also the individual beauty. Yeah, and I love to see it because true beauty really is a blend of self-confidence and also authenticity, oh, one of my favorite things. And to the right tools to enhance your natural elegance. Uh, these are the qualities seen at this year's Miss South Africa's pageant. And our girl Kutle was lucky enough to attend this year's ceremony and had the opportunity to meet our top 10 contestants ahead of the live show. Great, I can't wait to see what went down. It's too soon, man. It's too soon, the nerves. <laughs> Hold. Miss South Africa is more than a beauty pageant. It's a leadership platform dedicated to transforming young, ambitious women into future leaders and brand ambassadors of our beautiful country. Today, we are in mainland as we prepare to crown our next Miss South Africa. My Ruby and I are doing our final rehearsal together. I think what South Africa can expect is really a journey. We're taking them on a journey. This whole Crown Chasers experience and the whole of Miss South Africa has been this journey of from the shadows into the light because we realize that we take these young women and no one knows their name, no one knows their faces. However, we are putting them onto this platform and the whole world will know their names. And we are so proud to showcase South African women. We decided to go with a theory of bigger is better and you will see that reflected. We have the most incredible lineup of designers. We have Khatuan Kutsia, we have Malondi, we have AFI joining us this year. We have La Jaqueta also and then we are going to end off with a cherry on top of the cake uh, with a Nau Buerta evening gown. Now, Lundega, Miss South Africa finale is fast approaching. Can you please tell us more about what we can expect to see on the stage? Drama. Okay. Resorts, <laughs> excitement, color. You know, I'm so excited because we're gonna in take you from your seat to an island in Maldives, to an island in, in Mauritius. That's that's my plan. So what I just wanted to do with this collection is to officially launch Malondi Summer. Mm. How do you believe you know, when it comes to the appearance and dressing and showing up on that stage empowers women and the importance of presenting yourself in such a way that the world can receive you. You know what's important when it comes to clothing, basically fashion, it's it's the woman who's wearing it. So that kimono is not going to do anything for the contestants if they don't have the power. So you have to carry that garment with so much power and greatness and then it will be an amazing garment. True beauty is a blend of self-confidence, authenticity, and the right tools to enhance your natural grace. Let's go meet our Miss South Africa finalist. Mama Mia, I'm pretty sure you get that all the time, right? No, 100%, I get that all the time. Yeah, I just go back, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again, right? We can't wait to see you in action now, finally, right? You have been working tirelessly for the past couple of weeks leading up to this moment. How would you say this experience has inspired you to live to your fullest potential? This experience has taught me a lot about myself. It has taught me what hard work truly can be and what it truly is. We think we work so hard, but when you are actually pushed to your actual limit, you realize you can actually can do so much more. And it has taught me so much about myself in that aspect that I am capable of so much more. I think the experience of Miss South Africa, I can say has genuinely changed my life and I'm not saying that as a cliche. I think the person I came in is like, I came in very unsettled, unsure, but 
now as I'm standing here as part of the top 10 for Miss South Africa, I can fully say that I love who I am and I'm so grateful that this experience allowed me to embrace that girl and to share with the rest of the country and I can't wait for them to see me in my element. You have been working so hard and tirelessly for the past couple of weeks. The final moments are fast approaching. How would you say this experience in its entirety has inspired you to live up to your full potential? Definitely, this experience has inspired me to live up to my fullest potential because I think Miss South Africa is a platform that stretches you out. I think it's a platform that makes you see parts of yourself that you've never seen before. So definitely would be that, would be that. This year marked my final year studying my degree in medicine and as much as I was reaching the final stretch in my studies, it was a time where I realized that I wanted to touch so many more lives. I know I can make a difference in medicine, but I know I can make an exponentially incredible difference with Miss Essay. So it was just the perfect time for me. This experience has really allowed me to be my authentic self and I know it's always an easy word to say but uh, has quite a few paradoxes so for me it really meant being true to my story and opening up to South Africa and being vulnerable which is not the easiest thing to do so reflecting back I'm like wow like spending time with those women and learning so much from them and them opening up and sharing their story has given me so much strength and I'm also just grateful because I'm coming back for the third time and that's quite a big deal to be given an opportunity to have this again is something that I'm really honored to have. Words of encouragement that I would give to any woman or young woman is to be courageous, to never give up on your dreams and don't let anybody tell you that your dreams are too big. I mean, I'm a mother of two, I'm 29 years old. Who would have thought that I would be, you know, in the Miss South Africa stage, right? So dream big, don't be afraid, go after your dreams. Don't let your age, motherhood, your marital status stop you from pursuing your, dream, your dreams because you are not defined by that. The words of encouragement that I would like to give to young women in South Africa, women who look up to me, is really this path is not an easy one. It's one that requires you to believe in yourself, to have that self-confidence, to say, I am with everything in life and I can do what I set my mind to. So for me, especially if you've been watching Crown Chasers, you'll realize that this wasn't one of the easiest journeys. It has been a challenging one. But because I didn't give up, because I know there's an ultimate prize I needed to put my head in the game and say I have what it takes to become Miss South Africa and this is exactly what it is and so can you each and every single one of us who stood and applied for Miss South Africa applied with self-doubts insecurities and a lot of adversities that we had to overcome in our life and still continue to do so do not let that deter you from following your dreams. We never let that deter us. Even though it seemed like it was so far up and so unreachable, look at us now. So anything you can dream, you can truly achieve with hard work, determination, and yeah, just going for it. Growing up in a vulnerable space, I've always wanted to empower myself and education was the tool. And I think that it's so important that every other young girl just like me has the opportunity and I am here to ignite that little spark in each of them. Una, first of all, you are looking absolutely stunning. How are you feeling? Shoot, I feel nervous, but I'm actually very excited. We worked so hard to get to this moment and I think I'm very prepared. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what words of encouragement do you have for young women who also want to enter Miss South Africa? Oh, I'd like to say to young women, take the step of faith. I think that if you do that, the Lord will lead your way and just be courageous and follow your dreams. And of course, that gorgeous crown found its way to the gorgeous head of Mia Lebrou, our new Miss SA, and we cannot wait to meet her. Absolutely. Wow.